just uh, been having a hell of a week trying to get to work on this. Uh, my eye, my left eye, still doesn't blink completely, so it is a pain in the eye, and it makes it hard for me to concentrate on anything, let alone sculpting. And uh, but I'm going to try to work a little bit through it today. It's hurting right now, but it's. I'll live with it is basically what I'm saying because I want to work on this and get it done. It's not going to take that long to work on. Um, also, if you subscribe and click the bell, uh, you'll get my videos whenever I produce them. All right, let's get busy on this buffalo. I want to uh, check and make sure my eyes are the same level. Oops. So I'm going to take a couple of toothpicks and put them into the eyeball. They look fine. I just realized something. If you look straight ahead, that buffalo would be blind in the front, and that's because I got the uh, fur uh, too high over that eye. So I got to adjust that, and then the buffalo's ability to see will greatly improve. Gonna have to raise him up so I can work on his nose. And the only way I can do that is raise him up. I gotta get a screw. Let's go down to the board here so that uh, the board won't be moving on me. Place. I think I'll get one more for good measure. That will keep that in place too. All right.
I was noticing this is a little big here, so I'm going to take it down a little. And I got this uh, candle. It's a uh, 100 hour plus candle. I got it uh, true value some time back, and uh, it's good for heating up tools cleanly, hopefully. Uh, I got to clean up or heat up this uh, knife here so that I can cut through this old clay easier. Yeah, that works pretty well. There we go. Now, I can't recycle that clay because it's way too old. But I can feel the oiliness under, so it, it, it's working. <laughs> it's hard for me to blow out a candle with this Bell's palsy. It's uh, things you don't think about. All of a sudden you start realizing how much every muscle in your mouth, your face, everything is very essential for everyday things like blowing out a candle. Anyway, I got my uh, Buffalo reference on my phone here and I'm seeing that uh, the beard actually comes up almost to the mouth on this Buffalo here. So that's what I'm going to do and it looks like it comes right up to the side of the face. It helps to have good reference if you're doing something you're not used to doing. And buffaloes I don't do on a daily basis. What I do is, I think I'm just going to do a rough texture on my buffalo. I don't want to get into high detail fur texture and all that stuff. I think that gets carried away and your eye gets bothered by all that detail. the uh, beard would be uh, blowing backwards because of the uh, forward motion of the animal. See, this Bell's palsy is a pain. Well, the buffalo is starting to look like a buffalo. Ah. 
I'm going to have to quit because I can't stand my eye any longer. And my clay's gotten real soft. It's cold in here because it's still kind of winter out there. It's, uh, you know, down in the 40s, but, you know, it's, or up in the 40s, but it's windy and boy, it gets cold. Anyway, I'm just going to work more on this. I hope tomorrow. It just depends on my eye. And I hate to use that as, a, as an excuse, but I got, that's it. I mean, that's my eye. So, uh, good night, everybody. And, uh, again, remember to take a look at, uh, the, uh, instructional videos that I have available and the, the link to a review of each of the, uh, videos is right below this video. <laughs> Let's see how big this guy is. He's 16 by 12. That's a pretty good sized buffalo. His head width is 5 inches. And head length is 5 inches. Interesting. Alright everybody, good night. See you next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.